Oh boy, just got something in the mail today. What is it? Ooh, that looks interesting. So, what specifically is this? Well, it's a model RS918. This is a clone of a kit out of the UK called MCHF. But this is a fully assembled one out of China. So it's a clone of an open source project that I'll reference. But here's a fully assembled version. Let's have a look what's in the box here. Woo, I feel this is it. Nice metal case, plastic on the uh, screen here. These knobs don't feel bad. Switches all feel nice. Tuning, cool. So there's a couple USBs and an antenna on that side. Phone, mic, line in, line out, accessory, key, and power. And there's a little, let me just switch this off to show you the, uh, this um, stand, built-in stand. Okay, then we have it with the standoff. Let's pull off this plastic. Sounds like that's the... Wow. What else is, have we got in here? So there's a, uh, a microphone. Um, an antenna adapter. what that is. Okay, there's there's two of these, so I think they might be side handles. Go on something like this to give it a bit of a rugged kind of a for use outdoors, you know, because it is a uh, little tiny QRP rig. And hopefully this will get outdoors some. Well, so far as uh, documentation, this is it. So, um, not a lot. Now, I bought this from an outfit called Recent. So, um, got, I got this on uh, Amazon.com. Recent HFSDR transceiver doesn't mean that it's a recent um, hardware build um, because these the MCHF kits are continually updated um, I think at the time of this video they're at point six hardware release and I have no idea what this is yet but uh, don't be fooled by the uh, <laughs> the brand name of the seller saying recent it kind of makes you think that you're getting a probably the latest uh, hardware version. That is yet to be seen um, until we fire this rig up and see what we have and learn how what the ins and outs are. So uh, on to the next. Okay, got to fire it up now. I had to switch cameras because the battery died in my other one so sorry about the uh, change in the uh, look. The opinion that I see is my issue. The people that I spoke with, is there really 
trying to destroy the ministry. And okay, and they arrested one man. Okay, so this is just a shortwave uh, broadcast I'm listening to right now because it's nighttime here in the winter. The bands, short, the ham bands are not. There's not much to listen to at this time. So, I mean, I, you know, ladies and gentlemen, here I am listening in on shortwave. It does have full general coverage receive, and I'm using a synchronous synchronous AM mode right now. It's a nice feature. This, and they are awesome. this radio is just chock full of menu items. There are just billions and billions of menu items to go through, which will be good fun. Uh, now that I've learned how to navigate them. Uh, this radio has a T TCXO way up at the top there. So there is a uh, crystal oven, they call them to keep a, a, a standard oscillator at a very precise frequency for accuracy. Nice. And uh, tons of things are configurable here. Colors, color schemes. Um, you can view a waterfall if you choose, or this. Um, uh, spectrum scope, um, just tons of bells and whistles in this little tiny, tiny radio. Really cool little thing. I can't wait to get this uh, radio out on field day. Um, that'll be a that'll be a hoot. So watch for more videos. I'll, uh, in the next few days, I'll get this thing going on uh, maybe FTA or something and see how it does uh, with its little 15 watts. And uh, cool, but uh, there you have it. I don't even know what to call this thing. I, I guess it's an RS918, but... Um, like there's no brand. It's not like a Yesu or, you know, it's it's definitely uh, a tinker toy. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. Um, 73. Tell me what you think in the comments below. I'll uh, include an Amazon link to uh, where I bought it, and uh, you can have a look at that for more details, like specs and stuff. Okay, 73. Ciao.